Hello mga kaisip mat, magandang araw po sa ating lahat. It's me again, teacher ko of Isip Mat Tutorial and welcome to my channel. And for today's video, pag-uusapan po natin ang Grade 8 Mathematics Quarter 1 Module 7, Equation of a Line into Variables. But before that, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon para po lagi po kayo updated sa lahat ng mga bago videos po natin. At huwag niyo pong kalimutan na i-follow tayo sa ating Facebook page, Isip Man Tutorial, at mag-join na ating Facebook group, DepEd Teachers Files. And for today's video, as what I've said, ang ating topic ay equation of a line in two variables. And our learning competencies, we have here finds the equation of a line given two points, the slope and a point, and the slope and its intercept, and solves problems involving linear equations in two variables and for our objectives at the end of the lesson you're expected to find the equation of a line given two points the slope and a point the slope and its intercept and solve real life problems involving linear equations into variables and for our lesson one find the equation of a line so there are three methods on how to find the equation of a line first using two points and the second one is slope and a point. And the third one is slope and its intercept. So for our first method, we have here two-point form. So as we all know, that the equation of a line or the linear equation in two variables is an equation of a line, right? So two-point form is one way of finding the equation of a line. So we're going to use this formula. Y minus Y sub 1 is equal to Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times the quantity x minus x sub 1 where x sub 1 and y sub 1 and x sub 2 and y sub 2 are the coordinates of point 1 and point 2 respectively in finding the equation of the line given two points assign which is the first point having coordinates of x sub 1 y sub 1 and the second point with coordinates of x sub 2 and y sub 2 then substitute the coordinates to the formula so what we're going to do is we will just use the given two points and we will substitute that one sa ating formula so we have here the example find the equation of the line whose graph passes through the given two points we have here positive 3 and positive 2 okay that's our first point and the second point is positive 2 and positive 1 the equation should be written in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. So this is in a slope intercept form. Okay, y is equal to mx plus b. Diba no nakarang lesson po natin, diba meron pong dalawang form ng linear equation, diba? We have the standard form and the slope intercept form. So the standard form is ax plus by is equal to c. And for the slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b. So now for the solution, we will assign point 1, okay? Para makuha natin si x sub 1 at saka si y sub 1. So, since ating problem is na una si positive 3 and positive 2, so, we will use this one as our point 1. Okay? And positive 2 positive 1 is our point 2. So, now, ma-identify na po natin kung saan si x sub 1 at saka si y sub 1. At saka si x sub 2 at saka si y sub 2. So, it means si x sub 1 at saka si y sub 1 is the coordinates of our first point. So, our first point is positive 3 and positive 2. And our second point, the x sub 2 and the y sub 2 is positive 2 and positive 1. Our second point. Okay. So, now, for our x sub 1, we have here positive 3. Okay. And for our y sub 1, positive 2. So, this is from our first point here. Positive 3 positive 2. And for the x sub 2, we have here positive 2, and for y sub 2, positive 1. This is from our second point, positive 2 and positive 1. So now, we're going to substitute that one to our formula. Okay, we have our formula here. Okay, so let's substitute this one, the values or formula. And, ito na po siya, magiging ganito. Okay, y minus y sub 1. Diba? Ang ating y sub 1 is positive 2. Is equal to. Ano? Y sub. Yes. Y sub 1. And. Is equal to. Y sub 2 minus y sub 1. 
this one divided by by x sub 2 minus x sub 1 this one times the quantity x minus x sub 1 which is 3 and then simplify okay y minus 2 is equal to negative 1 and this is divided by the okay, divided by by negative 1 okay times the quantity x minus 3 then the result simplify again we have here y minus 2 is equal to 1 times the quantity x minus 3 distribute natin sa 1 dito sa loob the result is this one and also here at the left side ginamit natin yung distributive property diba? then we will um, use the property of equality we will add both sides by negative 2 ano positive 2 para matanggal si negative 2 dito maiwan si y so the result magiging ganito y is equal to x minus 3 plus 2 okay since i rewrite natin into slope intercept form dapat si y yung nasa left side the rest ando sa right side so simplify y is equal to x minus 1 saan galing si minus 1 dito from here negative or minus 3 plus 2 negative 3 plus positive 2 so our answer is y is equal to x minus 1 so this is now in the slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus b our m is positive 1 automatic po yan kasi meron tayong uh, numerical coefficient na 1 dito sa x then ang ating b or the y intercept is negative 1 so that's the first method and for our second method is we have here the slope and one point and we're going to use this formula y minus y sub 1 is equal to m this is our slope di ba nung nakarang lesson pa natin m is our slope times the quantity x minus x sub 1 so this is our formula the slope okay using the slope and one point so the value of m is the slope okay slope of the line which which contains a fixed point and our point 1 meron po tayong coordinates na x sub 1 at saka y sub 1 so a linear equation whose slope and a point on its graph are given can be determined by substituting the given values in the or to the formula y is equal to mx plus b and solve for b okay so we have heard the example find the equation of the line given slope of 5 and passes through the given point positive 3 and negative 2 write the equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus b so what we're going to do is since alam naman po natin na kung ano kung uh, ano yung value ng x sub 1 taka sa y sub 1 since isa lang po yung point natin so our x sub 1 is positive 3 ang ating y sub 1 is negative 2 and then for our solution we will let y is equal to mx plus b be the required equation di ba? since um, dapat in a slope intercept form po yung kalabasan niya so the given point is positive 3 and negative 2 so the value of y is negative 2 and x is positive 3 and our slope is 5 di ba? given po yan sa ating problem thus using the y is equal to mx plus b form such as the values to solve b okay so ito na po siya y substitute natin sa so y is equal to mx plus b ating y is negative 2 di ba? from our point is equal to 5 yung slope po natin di ba? slope 5 times our x di ba? mx x is 3 plus b so masolve po natin si b okay so using the substitution method and then simplify magiging negative 2 is equal to 15 plus b then simplify further we're going to use the property of equality we will add both sides by negative 15 pala para malipat si 15 sa kabilang side all constant andun sa kabilang side tapos sa kabila yung ating variable b so simplify magiging negative 2 minus 15 is equal to b then negative 2 minus 15 that is the result is negative 17 is equal to b or simply as b is equal to negative 17 so therefore the required linear equation is y is equal to 5 x minus 17 saan galing si 5 this is our slope di ba and si 17 is our y intercept okay i hope nakuha niyo po yung ibig na sabihin so in a form of y is equal to mx plus b so yung point kanina 
ginamit natin yon at saka yung slope na 5 para makuha natin si B. Once makuha natin si B, isubstitute natin dito sa y is equal to mx plus b. Ang ating m is 5, ang ating b is negative 17. So, the equation is y is equal to 5x minus 17. And for our last method, the third one is the slope-intercept form. So, it is written in the form of y is equal to mx plus b, where m is a slope and it's straight line graph and that b is the y-intercept. If you know both the slope and the y-intercept of a line, we can always write its equation. So, to write the linear equation whose slope and y-intercepts are given, simply substitute the given value of the slope to m and the given y-intercept to b in y is equal to mx plus b. So, given to yung slope, given to yung y-intercept, substitute automatically doon sa ating y is equal to mx plus b. So, we have here the example. Find the equation of the line whose slope and y-intercept are given. First, the slope is positive 3 and our y-intercept is negative 5. Diba? And the second one is, slope is negative 1, y-intercept is positive 2. So, for our first value, since the slope is positive 3 and y-intercept is negative 5, then using the y is equal to mx plus b, just simply substitute the values given. So, the equation is we have your y is equal to 3, yeah, positive yung slope, 3, 3, then x minus 5, which is our yeah, y-intercept negative 5. So, ganyan lang po ka-easy. Just substitute the value sa ating slope-intercept form na uh, formula. Then, for the second value, we have your slope negative 1 and the y-intercept is positive 2. So, m is in negative 1, b is positive 2. Substitute to the form of y is equal to mx plus b. Hence, the equation is y is equal to, since negative 1, so it means negative x. Diba? Negative x, automatic po yung, uh, yung numerical coefficient niya na negative 1. And then, plus 2, since our y-intercept is positive 2. Okay, so that's it. So, ganyan lang po ka -easy. Okay, so for our lesson 2, solve problems involving linear equations in two variables. So, after studying on linear equation in two variables, let us take a closer look at the real-life problems involving linear equations in two variables. Remember the steps in solving a problem. Read and explore the problem in order to grasp what is the situation or problem all about. So, you have to read the problem and understand the problem and know what are the items given. Diba yung, yung mga items na andun kasama sa problem at saka alamin po natin kung ano po yung hinahanap Okay, so para mas maintindihan, we have the example. Pedro invested 10,000 pesos okay, on a venture and earns 500 pesos per month. So meron pong 10,000 si Pedro, tapos in-invest po niya. At saka meron po siyang makukuhang um, uh, tubo sa isang buwan, 500 pesos. So what will be his profit? Diba? Profit on the investment after one year. So, after one year, how much his profit? Diba? If in one month, meron po siyang 500 na profit per month. So, solution, we're, we're going to use a table. Okay, the table shows the growth of Pedro's profit. So, we have the number of months and the profit. So, the number of months is our X and the number of and, and our profit is Y. Okay, so... Ang kanyang investment is 10,000. So, it means, after one month, ang kanyang 10,000 ay magiging 10,500. Diba? Then, after two months, another 500. So, 10,500 plus 500 magiging 11,000. After three months, ang kanyang 11,000 is meron na namang 500 na additional. So, magiging 11,500. And, next month, kaapat na buwan, plus 500 again. So, that is 12,000. So, thus, the relation will be y is equal to 500x plus 1,000. Si 500 is the profit per month. Tapos, yung x natin is number of months. Diba? Ang ating y is the overall profit. Diba? Sa kanyang invest na 10,000. Okay. So, now, what we're going to do is this is our equation y is equal to 500x plus 10,000. 
Okay, once again, y is our profit, x is our number of months. 500 is ang kanyang profit in just one month plus 10,000 ang kanyang in-invest na pera. So, hence the profit after one year is 12 months. So, ang ating x is 12 since one year is 12 months. So, magiging ganito. Our equation is y is equal to 500x plus 10,000. So, yung x natin is 12 since one year. So, 12 months. So, y is equal to 500 times 12 plus 10,000. So, 500 plus times 12 is the profit plus ang kanyang in-invest na pera na 10,000. So, the result is the whole money, the invested money and the profit. Okay? So, simplify. 500 times 12, the result is 6,000 plus 10,000. So, ang 6,000 ay ang kanyang profit for the whole year, for 12 months. Ang kanyang 10,000 is ang kanyang in-invest na pera. So, the result is the profit and the invested money. So, y is equal to 10,000 plus 6,000, that is 16,000. So, 10,000 yung invested money, tapos yung 6,000 is the profit for the whole year because 500 pesos per month po yung profit niya. Okay? So, I hope na gets na po yung ibig natin sabihin. Okay? So, that's it for our module 7 and thanks for watching. See you in my next video.